Hello and welcome to our video. This is our 68 plate 2018, in fact it's September 2018, BMW 440i Coupe M Sport Auto. This car's done just 11,800 miles approximately. It's finished in sapphire black metallic. The whole car's been detailed and machine polished. We've put some black grills in the front. We've got the BMW Icon adaptive LED lights, which are really stunning. If I just pan back out there, you can see they've got a lovely design on the lights there. Got front fog lights. We've got the 704 19 inch alloy wheels with the M Sport brakes. <clears throat> just come back and show you the side profile of the car. It's got a really nice spec on this car. Like I say, the whole car's been detailed, machine polished. Just show you that rear wheel. It's got Goodyear Eagle F1 tires on there. Bodywork's come up beautifully. So it's been rotary polished, and then we use a, an orbiting machine polisher, which takes out any holograms. There's no bird dropping stains on the top of the car or on any of the panels. Just follow you around to the rear. We've got this, the darker smoked rear lights, all the top of the boot lid, lovely. Privacy glass on this one, rear camera, twin exhaust, rear parking sensors. Just come down and show you the rear wheel there. Let's take you to the front and the front wheel. So all the wheels lovely condition so if we come back out and look at the car really nice looking car you can see adaptive and these ones are called the icon adaptive lights so we'll take a look inside and this is where it gets even more special so we have black merino extended leather inside now the Merino lever is the top of the range lever that BMW do. It's like a hide lever. It's like a leather jacket to the touch. And you've got this plating effect on the door cards, as you can see, the nice white creamy sort of stitching there. We've got the Harman Kardon sound system. Now this blue on the top of the uh, badge down there is the protective coating that's been left on from new. So we've left that on there, that'll peel off. It's actually silver underneath. We've got electric seats, memory on the driver's side. Now, if you just take a look at this detail on the extended lever, it's a, an actual, it's a BMW individual lever. We've got the piping in there, with the contrast there, really nice. In fact, if we have a look in the back, extends to the rear, gives the car a whole different feel inside, a lot nicer quality. The center armrest is also in the merino leather. Got the Pro Nav, which is touchscreen. Got additional speakers up on the top there, the Harman Kardon. Whoops. So let's come around to the rear of the car and pop the boost open. So let's, let's have a look along the top of the bumper. No scratch or dig marks there. Carpets are all in lovely condition. Fold down seats, 60-40 split. up here as well so no scratches nothing around the filler cap there's the driver door card no marks or scuffs We've got the electric folding and dimming mirrors which are foldable from the key fob by pressing and holding the lock button Gonna flip the lights. There you go. 
and I say still got the protective film on there the memory seat on the driver's side no marks on the lever let's just jump in so it's in need of a bit of fuel we can ignore that for now this is your adaptive light button just here that will pop the lights on give us a better picture of the auto wipers which will just turn off we have um, different dry uh, different modes here for your black panel display fm dab am music collection and then when your phone's connected it'll bring up the last calls used on there as well so as i say touch screen navigation you can slide these around and move them into whichever order you wish heated seats dual climate control got the black gloss finisher along the top there All the books are in here. Just eight speed ZF gearbox with sport mode, your iDrive wheel, which you can write on the top of. So we just come back up here. I'm gonna use the iDrive wheel for ease. So into your navigation, address input, and then we can use either voice control, or like I say, we can write with our finger even if you're right-handed, you'll soon get to use your oh. left hand or left finger to put your address in, etc. With your media, you've got your DAB, FM, AM, music collection, 80 gig hard drive in there, so plenty of room to store your music. If we go to the map, we have different views, lots of different options in here. And if we go on to perspective you can use the radio buttons down here if I just run my finger across the top of them you can see so you could save not only your radio stations but certain windows and you can also save telephone numbers on those buttons so if you've got someone that you phone regularly just at the press of a button it will phone them and you've got additional information etc weather and obviously they're split screen so if we go over to the right we can choose split screen mode and then there's different windows you can put up so you can have your entertainment and your media on one side or your trip computer and then you map the other side and then just to flip back go straight to the top flip off there if we go into the uh, connective drive it's generally a three year subscription on the new cars and you've got your weather radar and your news and app support. You can link up with uh, the BMW app and you can lock your car from your phone, etc. So lots of features in there. And if we go to my vehicle, you've got a list down the right hand side of everything that's in the individual your displays, your technology, sport displays etc so if we flip back out of there and go to vehicle status all of the cars that we have are either serviced by the local bmw dealer or by the local bmw specialist this car has had its first service done which will be an oil and microfilter so that's done if we come back out of there brake fluid on the first one it's every three years every two years after that engine oil we've just done so 19,000 miles remaining it's just a check brake pads on the front 18,000 miles so plenty there and 43 on the back so plenty of life in there so um, we've got uh, sliding armrest as well 
like so. Let me just move the paper out. We've got the USB in there and this lovely stitched lever as well here and on the gear stick. So we'll jump out. And we'll take a look onto the bonnet. So there we have the uh, three litre twin power turbo engine, which produces, I think on these they've gone up to, they were 326, and I think they're kicking out a little bit more than that now on the 440. So we can check the details on that. The whole engine bay is cleaned with WD-40, a nice safe product to use in the engine bay. We don't like to get any water on any of the electrics. So a lot of it's done by hand and all polished up underneath here as well. Come out to give you a, an idea. Love those lights. <laughs> right, bonnet, no chipping on the bonnet. Just a couple of finger marks from me right under the light there so it's really picking up the metallic just zoom out so a really nice looking car there with a great spec and a really nice feel to it with that interior so please give us a call if you've got any questions lots of finance options available thank you for watching our video Hope to speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.